Sa calculus, pwede natin gamitin yung mga derivatives para ma-visualize yung graph na isang function without actually graphing it. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is gagamit, gagamitin natin yung first derivative test para hanapin yung local minimum and local maximum or minsan tinatawag din siyang relative minimum or relative maximum sa isang function. Now, sa so mapapansin nyo, dito sa function ko, sa graph na to, mai-illustrate ko yung local maximum and local minimum by uh, showing you a graph. Now, in this graph, or this function right here, itong peak na to, ito yung local maximum nyo, at tapos ito namang pinaka-lowest point nyo na ito dito sa function na to, ito naman yung local minimum. So, visually, ganyan mo makikita ma 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 yung local maximum at local minimum. Tapos, mapapansin nyo dito sa function na to, from... Uh, the negative infinity, umaakyat yung function nyo, so tinatawag natin siyang increasing. So obviously, since umaakyat, increasing siya. At pag dun, pagdating dito sa peak, which is your local maximum, mag uumpisa na siyang bumaba, kaya decreasing na ngayon yung behavior ng function nyo. At pag nahit niya yung lowest point nyo dun sa function, start na uli siyang mag-increase. So visually, dyan yung map, ganyan yung mapapansin yung behavior ng isang function. Now, paano naman natin siya ma-visualize kung hindi natin nakikita yung graph? So, gagamitan natin siya ng derivatives. Kaya tayo may lesson ng derivatives or application ng derivatives para makita natin sa function kung ka paano siya nag increase at mag decrease So, ang first condition natin is that if f prime of x is greater than 0, which basically means kung yung first derivative nyo eh, positive or positive yung value, then yung function nyo is increasing. At kapag naman yung first derivative nyo ay eh, nagbigay sa iyo ng negative na value, yung derivative, yung function nyo ngayon ay magiging decreasing. So ito yung gagamitin natin uh, condition para ma-prove yung increasing or behavior ng graph whether it's increasing or decreasing. Now, sa first derivative test, makikita rin natin kung kailan meron tayong local maximum at kailan meron tayong local minimum. Yung first derivative natin, kapag daw nagbago siya from positive to negative on a given interval, meron kang local maximum. Tapos kung yung... Uh, First derivative nyo ay nag-change naman from negative to positive, meron kang local minimum. At yung pangatlo, kung yung first derivative nyo ay walang pagbabago, which means positive pareho yung sign nung inyong uh, um, interval dun sa um, point na yon, yung local maximum nyo or yung local minimum nyo does not exist. So kung gagamitin natin tong illustration, itong function na to, so ang local maximum daw, Kapag ka positive yung derivative or nag-change siya from positive to negative, magkakaroon ka ng local maximum. At pag nag-change naman siya from negative, which is decreasing, to increasing, meron kang local minimum. So visually, ganito nyo makikita yung uh, um, behavior ng isang graph. Now, gamitan naman natin siya ng function as an example. So ngayon, wala na tayong nakikita ng graph. So... Uh, Kung hindi natin nakikita yung graph, kailangan natin gamitin ng calculus or ng derivative para ma-illustrate yung behavior ng isang function. At ito yung gagamitin natin. So, find the interval where the function is increasing or decreasing and if local maximum or minimum exists in this particular function. At so, function na gagamitin natin is f of x is equal to x squared minus 2, 2x minus 3. Now, pretend na hindi nyo alam ang itsura ng graph ng function na yan kasi napaka-basic nung uh, function yan, which is a parabola. Paano natin makukuha yung uh, directions niya or yung behavior ng graph using calculus? So, ang step 1 nyo, yung first step nyo will be finding the critical number or basically finding the first derivative ng function nyo and then set it to 0 and solve for x. So, Function is x squared minus 2x minus 3. The first derivative of this function is 2x minus 2. To find f prime of x is equal to 0, just set your derivative to 0 so you can find x. So x is equal to 1. So ito yung critical number natin na gagamitin natin para makuha yung behavior ng function nyo, whether it's increasing or decreasing. So yan yung first step, finding the critical number. Yung second step nyo naman is gagamitan nyo ng sign chart. So yung sign chart na yan, since ang uh, critical number nyo is x equal to 1, meron kang din niya dyan, yung gitna, hinati ko siya sa x is equal to 1. So, meron ka dito mga numbers na below positive 1 at mga numbers na above 
um, positive one. So, trial and error lang yan kasi ang iti-check natin is whether yung first derivative nyo ay magbibigay ng positive value or negative value given this interval. So, in this interval, check natin kung magkakaroon ka ng mga negative or positive values. And how are you going to do that? Since x is equal to 1, pili ka lang ng mga number na less than 1. So, you can use 0, you can use negative 1, negative 283, or negative 1,522 kung gusto nyo. So, dito, kinuha ko lang is 0 kasi yun yung pinakamadali. So, f prime of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 minus 2. By substitution, na prove ko, na yung first derivative ko will give me a negative value by plugging in a number less than 1. So therefore, in this interval, which is from negative infinity up until 1, negative yung sign ng first derivative ko. At dun naman sa kabilang side, test ko naman kung whether magkakaroon ako ng positive or negative. So yung f prime of x ko is equal to 2x minus 2. Pipili ka uli ng mga numero na more than 1, so it could be 2, 1.1, or it could be 235. So dito ginamit ko is positive 2. And by doing so, nakita ko na yung f prime of x ko is equal to a positive number kapag nag-plug in ako ng value na greater than 1. So therefore, increasing yung function ko dito sa interval na to. So from 1 to positive infinity, my um, function is increasing in that particular interval. So therefore, na-prove ko na na f of x is increasing on this interval, which is 1 and positive infinity, and decreasing on negative infinity and positive 1. And the local minimum exists kasi nag-change yung direction ng inyong uh, sign from negative to positive. So yung condition natin sa kaninang illustration, kapag nag-change siya from negative to positive, going down and then going up, meron ka ngayong local minimum. So yan yung paggamit ng first derivative para ma-test nyo whether um, nag increase or nag decrease yung function sa given interval at kung yung local minimum or local maximum ay nag exist Now, sa second example, meron na naman tayong bagong function at dito hahanapin uli natin yung uh, kung saan nag increase or nag decrease yung function and also to find where the local minimum or local maximum exists. So once again, a local minimum nyo is yung graph nyo na pababa, yun yung lowest point at yung highest point which is your local, uh, local maximum. So yung step one is to find the critical number by setting the first derivative to zero. So we have x cubed minus 27x minus 20. Its first derivative is 3x squared minus 27. Set this equal to zero para makuha natin yung mga critical numbers. And in this case, 3x squared minus 27 is equal to zero. x squared is equal to 9. Therefore, meron tayong dalawang critical numbers which are positive 3 and negative 3. So yung second step natin is gagamitan natin ng sign chart to check kung ano ang magiging values noong uh, mga numbers nyo on a given interval. Will it be positive or negative? So since meron akong sign chart dito, dalawa yung critical number ko, so hinati ko siya sa tatlo. Anything lower than negative 3, all numbers in between negative 3 and positive 3, at saka all numbers that's greater than positive 3. So, ang gagamitin kong function or yung uh, um, first derivative function para makita ko yung sign noong aking function. So, here, since nag-start ako sa negative 3 at kailangan ko yung mga values na less than negative 3, I chose negative 4. And in this process, using my function for the first derivative, I found out na positive yung value ng aking uh, number kapag pinlagin ko siya sa first derivative. So therefore, positive yung aking uh, direction dito sa interval na to, which is nagsisimula sa negative infinity at magtatapos sa negative 3. Now, yung sa second interval naman, which is from negative 3 to positive 3, mamili uli kayo ng mga numbers na gusto nyong gamitin, pwedeng negative 3.1 up until... 2.9. So, ang pinili ko dito is 0 kasi yun yung pinakamadaling gamitin and I got a negative number. So, sa given interval na to, meron akong negative um, value for my first derivative. So, alam ko na nag decrease yung graph ko dito sa interval na to. At for this function or for this interval from positive 3 to the positive infinity, pinili kong number is positive 4. Plugging it to the 
uh, function for the first derivative, meron kang positive value for f of 4. So that means, sa first interval, negative infinity to negative, negative 3, the function is increasing. In this interval, it's decreasing. And on this interval, it's increasing. So my conclusion is that f of x is increasing on negative infinity to negative 3 and positive 3 to positive infinity. And it's decreasing on the interval negative 3 and positive 3. Tapos, nasaan na ngayon yung local maximum ko at local minimum? So again, uh, titingnan nyo yung conditions na kinopya nyo kanina. Kapag ang pagbabago is from positive to negative, which means going up, and then going down, meron kang local maximum. Kaya meron akong local maximum sa x equal to negative 3. At yung local minimum ko naman nag exist kasi from this interval, negative, pababa, tapos aakyat siya kasi naging positive siya, kaya yung local minimum ko ay nag exist dito sa graph na to. So yan yung pag-interpret ng um, behavior ng isang graph using the first derivative.